and welcome back to Lady Spike, the show where the drinks are strong and the stories are crazy. I'm Caitlin Arcand, and today we have Emily Mame Ford, who runs Playoffs Comedy and also, I can't even believe this, has just made her TV debut. Oh my God, I said debut so weird. That's how nervous <laughs> I am to be around you right yeah, now because I, you're I so get famous. It. I get it. Um, TV debut in a Scategories commercial. Yeah, it's kind of a big deal. Childhood me, like, yeah. can't believe this right now. Understandable, I get it. a huge, huge deal. My parents are afraid of me, not going to lie. Like, it's Whoa. all the paparazzi. It's yeah. all the paparazzi outside can't the Can't even go it's, home anymore. It's too much. It's fine. So what kind of drink are you going to be making us with your fame today? Well, I recently tried to get a little bit cooler, hence the Scategories commercial, <laughs> you know. And the leather jacket. Yeah, Ooh. exactly. So I've just kind of just been trying to become like someone's dad. That's been my goal of 2019. <laughs> I think I made it. Yeah. Um, so I started drinking whiskey and I was drinking a lot Ooh. of fancy whiskeys for a while, but then I realized that Jameson is the cheapest. <laughs> just gets the job so, done. like that's what I like. Because <laughs> um, it still makes you feel cool because you can say you're drinking whiskey. Yeah. But uh, it's cheap. So I like it a lot. And uh, so I actually have fancy glasses for us today. Wow. Nobody's reason, ever brought glasses in like a box. To be completely is... honest, I, I bought these when I was really drunk as a Christmas present for someone, but I, <laughs> I didn't actually have anyone to buy them for. So I kept them for myself. Ooh, so yeah, check these look out. at those. Yeah. Oh, they're twisty. We're basically twisty. in Gossip Girl right now. This not gonna is lie. wild. Okay. Wild turkey, if you will. No, it's James. <laughs> See what you did there? She tells jokes. I don't. Yeah. <laughs> it's fine. All right. I guess, yeah, I'll just grab it with my hands. Okay. So you just kind of put... Like, As everyone some, does on this show. <laughs> yeah. You just kind of put some ice in it. Okay. And then, yeah, you, you also pick up the ice that fell on the counter. You, you put love that. that. Mm -hmm. um, and then you put, like... Uh, a lot of people, I guess, would use a shot glass. And this is where I don't. Uh, I just, just kind of... Gonna... I hear it gluck, 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 gluck. <laughs> I guess that that's enough. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. I think that... honestly, usually it's like probably only like a quarter, but I do half because okay. Yeah, that's good. What's the point of filling up your glass later? What's the point? <laughs> it's all about laziness here at Lady Spike. Just kidding. That's not true. And what's the water about? You just kind of put a little water in it. Uh. And it makes it. <laughs> it's the most hardcore if you water it down. I, I actually have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, I just know that you can put a little bit of water in some ice, and then you can drink it, and that's it. And now that it's time. wow, very simple in very these simple. fancy glasses. Yeah. Cheers to Emily Cheers. Ford's. Yeah, it's basically Jameson and water. <laughs> do you feel like a dad? I do. Yeah, you do. I do. I'm gonna start telling shitty jokes to that's, all. All my kids' friends. That's what soon. I do already. <laughs> Hence the wild turkey joke. Um, that's why I like it so much. That is just Jameson. <laughs> yeah, that's just Jameson. So, but there is a little bit of water, as you saw. I did. I tasted that. I tasted the H two O. Yeah. The way the chemicals you gotta hydrate. mix together. Hydration's important. Yeah, that's me acting like a dad, pretending mm -hmm. I know more than I do. Oh, about exactly. Science. Yeah. 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 So. What kind of story did you bring to us today? Well, so I have a story about my first day of college. Okay. Yeah. So to preface the story, I wasn't a very cool high schooler. <laughs> Shocker, I know, because of the leather jacket and the Scategories <laughs> commercial. But I was a pretty weird kid. Um, to, to start when I was five, and this is kind of just how I continued my life. Uh, when I was five, I used to cut my fingernails, save all the clippings, put them in an empty cassette tape, fill it with water, and introduce them to people as my hermit crabs. Oh, you're the kid to stay yeah, away from on the bus. Exactly, yeah, and it just kind of continued throughout <laughs> <laughs> throughout life. Are there any yeah. Are there any hermit crabs in here right now? <laughs> there might be. There, I could have brought cassette tapes Yikes. to put the drinks in. That would have been nice. That, that would have been a nice throwback. <laughs> you can't really buy them anywhere, I don't think, but I could have found they're, it. They're vintage now. I can yeah. get them at like Urban Outfitters. <laughs> <laughs> like this coat. <laughs> yeah, I they, those were probably next to each other on the shelf. Yeah, that, no, was, that was my that was my fault. <laughs> yeah, so I was a really weird kid. I was really nerdy, really loved math. Everyone would cheat off me type of thing. Yeah. And a lot of the time when people would describe me, they would call me the girl that was always smiling for no reason and was kind of creepy and weird. <laughs> uh, I wore a lot of black 
for a while too, and I just saw. I, it was a rough time. It really was. So when you got to college, you were like, I was like, I'm new school, new me. Exactly. Yeah. I was like, I'm gonna be really cool now. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, so my first day of college, the first thing I did to become cool was I went to go join all the clubs at school. <laughs> Every single one. Yeah. Well, that's how you become cool is you join clubs. <laughs> You know, <laughs> uh, yeah, so that's where that started. And I spent my day joining clubs and not making any friends uh, because I actually, I went to a tech school yeah. where it was 98% guys and everyone was afraid of me. So I joined some clubs, I didn't make any friends. And I also lived with my grandma in college because that's also how you become cool, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we hung out. Did she out. go to school with you? Did she join the clubs? No, she didn't. Oh. I just came home and like told her. No about grandma it. and a sorority. No, like Delta, no, there were Kappa, well, I don't know sororities. There were no sororities at this no school. No sororities. Oh, okay, that's oh, probably no. for the best. If that's anything, there were the like D and D sororities. That was the type of college <laughs> I went to. <laughs> I'm just picturing like a D and D sorority. But yeah, the club that I actually made it into was the uh, the radio club, the radio okay. show club, and I had my own radio show. It was that's cool. So much pun. Hence the dad stuff. Um, anyways, so my first day, I joined all the clubs, all that stuff happened. And I was going to leave school, and it was one of the situations where I, like, kind of had to pee, but, like, just oh. a little bit. Oh, you God, know what every I mean? time someone tells a pee story on the show, I get, mm -hmm. like, worried. Yeah, I mean, you should be, <laughs> be careful. It's a tough world out there. So, so... It's one of those situations where I like kind of had to pee. Yeah. And I was just so stressed out because of all the joining clubs and trying to be cool. Um, I hadn't found the leather jacket yet. <laughs> and I was like, all right, I kind of have to pee, but like I can just get on the train. Like there's definitely bathrooms on those things. <laughs> I'm from New Hampshire. I don't know what the fuck. Well, <laughs> I don't, don't know, know what's going work. on. <laughs> yeah, no, I don't know how <laughs> life worked really. I was very confused. I just had a confused look on my face uh, the whole time. Wandering around looking for a bathroom on yeah. the train. So like I get on the train. And also, I had to teach myself on the train to like stop smiling at random people because they would just talk. Because they me. don't like that. Yeah, and I'm from New Hampshire. I was just like confused girl who has to pee who's smiling. Uh, so, sitting on the train, I had to go from the blue line or the green line to the blue line, and so I rode the whole time on the green line, being like, I kind of have to pee, but it's gonna be all right. It's gonna Wait, be all right. Wait, hold on. I didn't know you were talking about like the tea. You the thought train. there were you thought there were <laughs> bathrooms. <laughs> On the green line and the blue line. I sure did. I sure did. Oh my god, I thought this was like a commuter rail or something. I didn't know oh you were no. going. Oh no, I was confused. Yeah. I was. I grew up on a farm. I was a weird kid. I didn't know what was going on. I mean, people on. go to the bathroom on the train, but not they do. in a bathroom. Yeah. <laughs> people do go Usually to a Dunkin' Donuts cup. You know, usually. <laughs> usually. Uh, if you're lucky. Just, just wait. For, yeah, just wait. Uh, yeah, so like I get on the train, everything's fine. I get off on the green line and waiting for the blue and I'm like, ah, I really got to pee, but I can make it. It's only a, a short train ride. I'll be fine. Wait for grandma's. It'll oh be great. Uh, so I'm sitting on the train and uh, it was one of those situations where I like, I really had to pee and I didn't know what to do. So I kind of, I was sitting next to someone on the train. So I got up and I moved away from the people and sat on my own seat that had like no, no one next to me and no one next to me. And I was like, all right, like, let's just cross our legs, uh, see what we can do. I was also wearing a dress, which just made it all worse. Oh no. And so my legs are crossed. I'm like, I don't know what to do. And one of the situations where I was like, maybe I can just pee like a little bit. <laughs> a tiny little bit. Maybe if I just pee a little bit, it'll just feel better <laughs> and then I can hold out for the rest of the time. Uh, it wasn't a little away. bit. Uh, I think it was the most pee I've ever peed in my life. And it was just all on, on the seat, the whole thing. And you had to sit in it? I had, no, actually what happened was I, I peed the whole thing and then I got off the train and found a bathroom. That was the first thing I did. Perfect timing. And I don't know why I didn't just start with that. Did anybody see it? I still don't know to this day because I ran off the train. Because one time I peed myself in Times Square and uh, a lot of people saw it. You know. Like a lot of people saw it. I, I feel like I'm the contributing factor to why the blue line smells like pee in 
<laughs> now, can you tell us specifically what seat you were in so I never ever sit yeah, in Yeah, I my think life? it was like maybe eighth car. Uh, <laughs> this is not helpful. This is not helpful. <laughs> on the right. <laughs> at all. Um, never sit down on the blue I, line. I wouldn't suggest ever. it because I've probably peed there. And uh, bring your dog, it might pee on my scent. They do that. <laughs> oh my God. So Emily, if the people would like to hang out with you, hopefully pee free, where can they find you? <laughs> well, my social media is at Emily Mame Ford. And yeah. I just like my mouth peed itself. Your mouth I peed, missed yeah. my mouth. Yeah, That's this how kinda almost looks like I am. this almost looks like pee. You know, you I was look. trying not to think about it. I was trying not to think about it. I do <laughs> apologize. I'm so sorry. Oh my god, no. She's slowly morphing into they a never dad. Stop. We better hit cut before yeah. you wear socks and sandals. I have hey. done that. I, when I went to Italy, that's all I wore the whole time. Oh my god. Exactly. Yeah. Someone get this bitch a visor. Please cancel me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, everyone, go find Emily Mame Ford and all of her puns. I would love to dig up that college show so it's so out there. <laughs> much. I just I just want to listen to it um but you can also watch us here at Lady Spike again hopefully you will I said that really weird so come back I hope okay bye bye and now for our wine mom tip of the week And this has been our Wine Mom Tip of the Week. Oh, fuck. And this has been our Wine Mom Tip of the Week. Janice, it's fucking 80 degrees in here. What the hell are you doing? Why is it 80? Oh, it's 80 degrees in the house. No, it is not 80 degrees oh. in your house. Oh my god. <laughs> Janice, we record a funny show. Sorry. With jokes. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Let's do that again. <laughs>